Uh, okay, Kate, do you have another speaker for me? Yeah, we've got Eric Gebhard. Eric, can you hear me? Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, Kate. I can hear you uh, loud and clear. Hey, where are you broadcasting from this morning? I'm in Orange County, Laguna Niguel. Right, I know it well. Uh, go ahead and get your PowerPoint up, and I'll give you an introduction here. After several years, AltaVest developed a large client base of options traders. The AltaVest team saw a need to make complex option spreads simple. They then developed the Theta Trader, which pre-selects complex multi-legged option trades on stock indexes and automatically manages risk and reward. The Theta Trader technology allowed for the creation of a unique six-leg option structure called the Dragonfly. Theta Trader also utilizes an integrated trade alert functionality, wherein to respond to an alert, the client only needs to touch, accept, or reject on their smart devices. Uh, Mr. Gebhardt also worked to make automated futures trading systems available to AltaVest clients via a user-friendly platform called AV Systems. The purely algorithmic-driven systems on the AV Systems platform, as well as unique option strategies, offer non-correlated investment opportunities. Mr. Gebhardt enjoys spending time with his family on adventurous outings, along with vintage automobiles, bike riding, and church activities. He also volunteers as a member of the Dean's Advisory Council for La Sierra University's Zapara School of Business. Uh, all right, Eric, uh, glad to see you again. And uh, you have until five minutes before the hour, and then we start handing okay. out our next batch of prizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself and you have the floor. Very good. And stick around, John, for, I don't know, five minutes or so. I've got a special couple slides for you. I put those in there just for you. So um, anyway, I thanks for having to me. see what these are all about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll get are a they kick airplane out. connected? <laughs> How did you know? Yes. Yeah. Something about me and airplanes. <laughs> Very have you been good. watching Masters of the Sky? I have not. I have Let's not. It's a World that. War II. Uh, uh, is that uh, the Band series. of Brothers uh, series type of thing? It's the Band of Brothers successor. It's the air right. version. Right, right. I, I, yeah, I love that one. I had that on disc years ago. So anyway, well, very good. Um, thank you for having me. And everyone, we're going to uh, jump into this. We've got a lot of material to cover. So we're going to look at automatically trading options and in particular option spreads. We have a proprietary solution. John mentioned uh, Theta Trader. Uh, we're looking at professional option strategies. We can do this uh, with, I guess you could say, simplicity in mind. We don't have to screen watch all day, and we can use automation to help us uh, not only select the trades, but also risk manage uh, and profit manage the positions, which is just as important. So remember, we're speculating and we're trying to make money as speculators, and we always accept risk when speculating, or else there'd be no potential for profit. So do take a moment and review that risk disclosure. Remember, all funds committed should be risk capital when speculating, and then past performance is never a guarantee of future results. A little bit about AltaVest. I won't go too deep into this, and John mentioned a little bit about us, but we've been doing this since 1997. Uh, that's yours truly in the middle there with some of our colleagues on the trading floor. That's the S&P 500 options trading pit. Those are uh, our floor brokers that would fill all of our orders for us. Of course, everything, of course, everything is electronic now. So we've been doing this about 27 years now as a brokerage firm. We created the Dragonfly proprietary strategy uh, and execution technology. So clients have been with us trading millions of contracts along the way. We're registered with the CFTC, also a member of the NFA. We're located in California. And a little bit about myself, been doing this since 1991, been licensed and have my BS in business administration from University of Southern California. So that might be familiar to some of you as the Trojans. Started off in mutual funds and securities and annuities with my series six and 63 licenses. Uh, currently have my Series 3 license, which is Commodities Futures, and my Series 65, that's the Investment Advisor uh, Law Exams, what they call that. 
So here's the one for you, John. Okay, so this is, uh, we took a ride in this plane a few years back. This is out of uh, Palomar near San Diego, and that's our pilot. Uh, and I can't quite recall his name, but a Navy pilot. And we had a great time flying in this. You can see um, up and down the coast here, uh, San Diego. We went along Torrey Pines and had a great time. There's What's the, the name road. of the plane? I don't recognize it. It looks pretty small. I, I don't recall. I, I should know that. I should know that, but um, I was hoping you would tell me. But anyway, that uh, <laughs> that was a great trip. You can see the. No, it's nothing. Nothing I've flown. My my guess it's for, it's from the late twenties or early thirties. Oh, it was definitely vintage. Yes, but yeah. I know that coastline. though. Yeah, that was a the great coastline day. Coastline just north of Miramar. Yeah, that's right. And um, over Torrey Pines and um, over like Rancho Santa Fe and so forth. Flew over Arnold Schwarzenegger's house and that kind of thing. Did it's the a most few... expensive real estate in California or in the United States. Yeah, very good. Absolutely. So anyway, that's uh, that's for you, John. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And uh, we'll keep moving here. And uh, oh, yeah, there I am with yours, yours truly and my better half there. So that was a great day. But anyway, so jumping back into trading, uh, three barriers that we've identified. And that's let's see if you can identify with these um, out there in the audience. Uh, a lot of noise. So you get a lot of conflicting price targets, opinions, narratives, lots of choices. Here's a here's an option strike um, matrix. You know, you can see just where would you know, how would you know where to begin in terms of picking a, a, an option to trade? You've got price predictions. Uh, in the media, this one I left in here from last year, just because it's, you know this guy said um, Bitcoin is going to be at two hundred fifty thousand or five thousand next year. Uh, of course, twenty twenty three has come and gone, and neither one happened. But you know, I'm not sure how you're supposed to trade based on that or invest on that kind of information. This is interesting. Um, just a few months back, these are some of the bigger financial firms and their price targets for the S and P five hundred. Uh, let's see, fifty one hundred Deutsche Bank. I guess we've already kind of been there. Uh, or close enough, and then the lowest is 45. But again, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how that's helpful to anyone. Uh, and they always move their price targets. It's kind of like a moving target uh, anyway. But how about number two, time and discipline needed to screen, watch, and trade. Here's a typical look here of someone and what they might be doing during the day when they're trading. A uh, little bit of wisdom from Gandalf. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. So basically, how do we manage our time you know i think a lot of us would rather be doing this something outdoors or maybe even something like this if we're tired after a hard day of work um and then number three how about us we sometimes get on our own way with our own human emotions fear and greed we have that emotional roller coaster that we're riding um you know you're optimistic and you fork as you win and then you get you know surrender at the bottom here as you're losing and then you go back um, when you have some winners again back to that feeling of elation so we want to try to stay off of that emotional roller coaster train but we can trade options like a large institution that's what we're going to look about uh, look at look at here so how about an insurance company and how they do things they get paid premiums to assume risk they're selling and managing time they insure themselves by hedging uh, they're consistent and they're patient in their process along the way. And then they look at math, quite frankly, just probabilities, uh, favorable longer term outcomes, statistics, actuarials. You know how that goes with uh, insurance companies. And that's why they do so well. They just crunch those numbers. But maybe we can also collect premium if we're uh, doing things the way they do them. So we have option strategies. We call these base hits where you're also collecting premium we need to be consistent and patient, manage risk, um, expect to have losing, losing trades, of course, uh, manage reward. You don't want to overstay your welcome. And then you need some experience along the way. And then you need the correct tools to make this happen. And again, we're not going for the grand slams here with these types of trades. When we're selling option premium, collecting premium, going short options, a lot of different ways to phrase it all means the same thing. Uh, but there are strategies for any direction, non-directional, bullish, bearish, and all of the outcomes have fixed risk, and they're all targeted in advance. These are all insured position, and I mentioned predetermined risk and reward, and then that non-directional aspect. I'm going to jump into that here in the demo. But 
first a couple of the Greeks. You've probably heard of that phrase. You can get really deep into like, uh, you know, derivatives of, uh, of um, in terms of the underlying contract and then the de the second derivative or the uh, second order of the Greeks. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to look at two, delta. And that's how much the option value changes with the change in the underlying index. It's also the approximate probability of expiring in the money. And for example, if the delta is 0.25, uh, that means essentially there's a 75% chance that option expires worthless and out of the money. And of course, delta is a figure that's always moving uh, moment by moment with price and time. And it is not the probability of a winning trade. So don't make that mistake of thinking that's what delta represents. And then there is theta, and that's sensitivity to time. Options are a decaying or a wasting asset with limited lifespan. So they always expire at some point. So theta is a negative number. It equals one day of time decay. So if an option's at 10 points, theta is negative 0.05. For example, then the next day that premium drops to 9.95, and the next day after that, 9.90, and so on and so forth. And that's how theta decay works. And here's what it looks like on a graph. As you approach time zero, the percent of the premium remaining on that option uh, just drops and drops and drops and really starts to fall off in the last uh, bit of that option's lifespan. So Wall Street pros are trading multi-leg option spreads to collect premium. Uh, here's this woman on CNBC, and I put the link in here a little later, but she mentions an option spread is buying and selling different contracts. It's a common way for investors to hedge risk and volatility, and it's usually cheaper because you can offset your cost by the proceeds from different contracts. And it's been used by Wall Street professionals for decades. So she's just basically talking about trading option spreads. And so remember, too, with emotions, it's hard to compete with the universe of the algos out there now. Everything is machine driven. Here's our competition. And everything's automated, algo driven. In fact, JP Morgan estimates systematic trading is over 90% of US equity volume. So that was uh, last year, I believe. And I would imagine that number is no. No smaller, probably bigger, <laughs> if anything. So can algos be used to trade option spreads in a professional way? And we think the answer is yes. So we're going to look at automation to collect option premium and developing unique bull, uh, bearish, bullish, and non-directional strategies. Here's a quick example. Then we're going to jump into the actual demo of the software. And we're going to look at selling an e-mini S&P 500 call spread. And we'll talk about the e-mini a little bit later as to why we focus on the e-mini markets. But this is an example where you might be bearish, you could be even moderately bullish or simply um, non-directional. And here's an example. You're selling this red line here, that's the 4980 call, and you buy the 5000 call. You do this simultaneously as a spread, and the net result is you collect uh, $112.50 minus whatever your commissions are. And you look for the market to essentially stay below that red line. And then here's another example where you're selling a put spread. So you might do this if you're bullish or moderately bearish or even have a non-directional bias. And again, you're selling this red line here. That's the 4440 put in this example. And you're buying the 4420 put. And the net result of that is you collect $100 and put that in your pocket and hope the uh, underlying market just sort of goes sideways or uh, just doesn't drop too quickly, too fast. So that's how that works. And then these are not naked option positions. Remember, these are covered spreads. Um, no naked trading allowed. Sorry, cat, the hairless cat there is telling us no naked options trading. And these are covered. And that means you don't have unlimited risk and there won't be margin calls along the way. So you won't be forced um, you know, out of your positions which is really a good benefit. And here's a good joke. I've used this before, but I think it's a good one. This woman's looking at this guy's phone. Let's assume it's her you know, boyfriend, I guess, or husband. And she says, who is margin and why does she keep calling you? So remember, margin calls are no good. And the first other example here we're going to look at of a more complicated spread would be the iron condor. It's a combination of the put spread we just looked at and the call spread that we just looked at. 
so here's a graph I put together. So here's a out of the money call spread that you would sell and an out of the money put spread that you would sell. And the net result is you collect premium on the call spread and the put spread. And you're looking for the market to stay between those two basically uh, upper boundaries and lower boundaries. And then here's what it might look like after the market trades. And remember, every short option, there's a long option to cover it. So that's basically how you would do an iron condor. And then, you know, you're looking at that non-directional bias with the condor. And then, you know, why would you even consider that? And how does that even work? Well, remember, theta decay re reduces the spread value over time. So the intent is to exit that spread by buying it back uh, later for less than what you received. So here's what it looks like. This is the same chart we just looked at. And in this example, I'll show you a theta trader here, but there's a blue signal here that says to exit the trade. And this is right at this point where you would exit the, tr the trade, cover the position and uh, take your profit in this case and move on uh, to the next position. So again, you're intending to sell it high price and buy it back for a lower price. And then here's the strategy we talked about briefly and mentioned the dragonfly and it's six legs and it's a variation on the iron condor strategy. And here's a graph of that and it looks complicated at the moment, but I'll jump into the software and it kind of helps explain it a little bit more. But again, it's, it's just a variation on a condor. This position here, you're selling these four calls here, the red line. You buy three further out of the money calls as a hedge or protection, and then you buy one closer to the money call as additional uh, hedge. And then the same structure down here, you sell four, you buy one, and then you buy three further out. And you do all of this simultaneously on one order. I'm going to show you how we can do that with Theta Trader. And of course, the idea is that um, Theta Decay occurs just like on the Condor, and you hope to buy it back for lower price than what you initially sold it for. So you can see here the market moved along. It even ran higher up to the closer to the uh, upper boundary here. Uh, but Theta Decay's work so well that still you get this signal here, turns blue, and that means get out of that position, take your profit, and move on to the next position. And we can automate this as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So you don't even have to watch your screen or be there when it turns blue. So there are other unique bullish and bearish uh, option strategies that are directional in nature as well. Here's something we put together called a bull hedge. And it's essentially uh, selling an out of the money put spread and using that money that you collected to buy an out of the money call spread. And here's what it might look like in an example where you bought this uh, spread here and then you sold this put spread here. So the money you sold the put spread for you uh, basically used it to buy the out of the money call spread and finance the purchase of that position. And in this case, um, you know, the market ran higher and this, this trade would have worked out provided you stayed with it long enough. And here's the real question though, is it probably seems pretty complicated right now because, you know, how would you know where to begin in terms of picking the uh, market, the expiration, the strike price, um, the timing of all of this, your profit level, your risk level. So there's a lot to consider there. But that's uh, what Theta Trader is going to help us with. These are pre-built option spreads. Our algorithm is uh, designed to build these spreads for us. They're called Theta Trades. And these are the professional types of strategies we just talked about. Uh, these are basically those spread types of strategies. Um, any market condition, there are strategies that we can uh, work with. And then you have that automation, the risk and the profit taking. And it's something called the... Uh, RTI, the risk thermal indicator, and that's the color-coded uh, approach that we just briefly saw in a few of those images. So I'm going to switch uh, screens here, and I'm going to jump over to the demo. If all goes well, you'll be seeing my screen here in just a moment. Okay, so let me just pull up the chat to make sure... Okay, so if there's a problem, someone let me know, but you should be seeing my screen here. This is our Theta Trader dashboard. And you've got your sections up here 
for theta trades and you have your open short or sold positions here and then your open long or bought positions and of course your current quotes and then your account information this is integrated and pulled directly from your uh, AltaVest trading account so theta trader is uh, our uh, product for placing these types of option spreads and it's uh, built for our clients at AltaVest and this is just a demo account I use for these types of events but you'll notice right here there are bullish strategies that are pre-populated and pre-built uh, bearish of course and we mentioned non-directional uh, or neutral and then we look at these three markets primarily the e-mini S&P 500 NASDAQ 100 and Russell 2000 and there's a good reason why we focus on these three indexes but in a nutshell it's because of volume there's just so much volume and depth of liquidity uh, in these markets that the options that we're looking to trade are going to be available for us. Um, so with that said, let me look at a couple of the theta trades for today. And you can see there are all of these trades the algorithm has chosen and kind of put them up here as a menu, so to speak, that you can choose from. And they're anywhere from 16 days to 60 days till expiration. And you'll notice the strike prices are already pre-selected. Uh, your maximum profit potential at expiration here is listed. Your targeted annualized return at expiration here is listed. And remember this column, or just note that this column here is really to compare one trade uh, to another. You can't expect that if you place this trade, for example, and it makes money that, you know, uh, by the end of the year, you'll have a 200% gain in your account. Um, this is just here comparing this shorter dated trade with 16 days till expiration to this longer dated trade. Um, so that's really why this is here to compare one trade to another. Now, I usually just randomly pick the one with the most uh, days till expiration. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you can see it here, thinking away. I'll give it just a moment and we're going to kind of drill down and look at a more detailed in-depth analysis or view of this particular trade. So here's a condor for the May week two expiration. And here's a graph and this is the e-mini S&P 500. Here's the current price and you're selling an out of the money call spread and an out of the money put spread collecting premium and it has 60 days till expiration. Here's the expiration date, settlement value. You're collecting this amount of premium, your put risk, call risk, commission, uh, cash required, profit potential expiration, targeted return on cash, and then your targeted annualized return. And then you'll see the strike prices here are listed and all pre-selected for you, but you could change them if you wanted to just by clicking these little arrows. But now you're selling this put here, the 4730 put, it has a delta of 9.93. So that means there's over a 90% probability that this option is going to expire worthless. That's the one you're selling. And the call that you're selling here, the 5560 call, 6.76% delta. And that is, again, a 90, over a 93% probability uh, that you're going to expire out of the money if you sell this call, or at least this call will expire out of the money. So that's what the delta is telling us, and that's why the algorithm has chosen uh, these particular strikes in part, because of um, the probabilities seem to be favorable. And you'll notice the cash required about $913, and your profit potential, and people think, well, that's interesting, because I'm, I'm using $900, and I can only make maybe $90 at most in this example. Why would I do that? Well, the reason, of course, is what we just talked about, these higher probability statist statistical outcomes here, uh, where the likelihood of the outcome being favorable is very high, at least according to the math and the probabilities. And you can see it defaults here to a sell because you're selling the spread, collecting the premium. Quantity always defaults to one. And we can do, you know, change it here. You can see the numbers changing we'll do for the sake of today how about we do five of these we'll leave the value here and just go ahead and place that order and just assume we're filled because it's a demo account and it's just that easy to place an order and let me jump in now and show you the difference between a condor and a dragonfly 
and give it just a second here. And again, we're doing the, uh, that was the E-mini S&P 500. So the symbol for that is ES. Then NQ is uh, NASDAQ 100 and RT is the Russell 2000. Just a second, folks. I'm not sure why it's kind of uh, getting a little bit glitchy here. Of course, it happens right during a webinar. Let me refresh it. And if that doesn't work, I, I know right where to move on to because I have something else uh, teed up for us. There we go. I'm not sure why that took so long, but here's a dragonfly. And so, again, instead of the condor, we're looking at a dragonfly. We'll look at this uh, May week three. Okay, just a second here. Somehow it's taking a little longer than normal, but here's what the dragonfly looks like in this particular case. You're selling these four 5580 calls, and you're selling, uh, I'm sorry, you're buying three further out of the money calls as uh, protection and buying one closer to the money call. So you can see the one that you're buying here is basically 50 points closer to the money compared to the ones that you're selling. And you have the same structure with the puts. And when you buy this one call and this one put, but let's just focus on the calls right now. What happens is it's 50 points closer to the money. So if the market's running higher and higher and higher, getting closer to the strike price of the four that you sold, the one that you buy has a higher delta. And it tends to act uh, basically like a an insurance uh a bit of an insurance or a hedge uh, as the delta is higher. So it reacts more quickly and favorably and it gains value more quickly uh, compared to the four that you sold. And also delta um, theta decay doesn't really help or doesn't uh, impact it as quickly. So that's the benefit. It changes the whole dynamic. And I'll show you in just a second. But here's, again, the um, dragonfly. And you'll notice, we won't go through all the details here, but you notice the cash required is 4,600, profit potential 318.50, targeted return on cash, and your targeted annualized return. So these numbers are always going to be less than a condor. And again, that's because you pay money to buy this extra insurance here and here. And there are some big benefits for that insurance, and we'll show you that in just a second. But you can see all the strike prices, again, are pre-formatted and selected for you. And the margin's higher because you're selling four puts and four calls instead of one put and one call. Your maximum profit potential, of course, is higher because there's quantities are four. So each dragonfly is in increments of uh, four. So if you did two dragonflies, you'd have a eight puts and eight calls. And the strike prices, again, are pre-selected to see the deltas below uh you know, 10% here and below 7%. So again, you have 90% and 93% probability that these options would expire out of the money. We'll change the quantity to two. So we're going to sell two of these spreads at this price, just over eight points each. And that's it. That's, that's exactly how you place those orders. And then let me show you a great feature here. You go under trading, you go under simulator, and this will really help explain a lot in terms of the uh, differences between all the various strategies. So here is like a time machine. So you can go back in time and I chose uh, December 20. And here's the iron condor for the week one February expiration. We can use these buttons to go forward in time, uh, go one day backward and one day forward, all the way back, so on and so forth. And so it's really like a time machine to go to back test these spreads. 
and we'll go day by day and you can see the p l here it's a little negative when you start off which is normal because theta decay hasn't really worked yet and you see the screen turning a little bit green so it's starting to gain value and the rti is green and that means good means do nothing and then it turns blue so here on january 11th with 23 days till expiration it turns blue and that means take your profits and go on to the next trade and when it turns blue like this you can have it set up so your account will automatically place that order um, for you so theta trader will automatically place the order for you in your account so that's kind of a typical condor as theta decay works and here's uh, the same expiration instead of a condor you do a dragonfly and then it turns blue here take profits here on uh, January 9. And what's interesting is, remember, this is January 9. You get a profit-taking order. And this here was January 11. So two days earlier, you were able to reach your profit target on the Dragonfly and move on to the next trade. So that often happens with the Dragonfly compared to a Condor. It will mature more quickly. And we'll jump into another example here. Here's a week four expiration. Kind of fun to watch this play day by day. And look here, it's moving higher, but it's quickly moving to, towards that upper boundary. And then you can see it turns yellow and it turns orange. That means higher risk, elevated risk. You can see the P&L in the trade is now negative. And that's not uncommon when you're selling theta decay or selling option premium. Because again, it you need time to tick by and tick away for these to mature. Then it goes yellow and then back to green but still do nothing. And then it finally turns blue here on August 11. So remember that date, August 11, with 15 days till expiration. And then let's run the dragonfly. Okay, August 4, look at that. You get a blue signal right here on August 4. So a week earlier, on the dragonfly compared to the condor and you know i wanted to point out too if you're trading a spread and you don't really have anything to um, guide you you know you're going to get these moves that are seemingly going to pressure you look at the markets running up 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 getting closer to your upper boundary and you may not know what to do you might panic and just close out that trade but the algo said don't do anything just stay in it um, and of course, you can go right to the end. You don't have to use the play button to save time. But anyway, here's another example of a condor. We'll just look at this here. I kind of forget what these do, but I. <laughs> it's going to be. Uh... Okay, here we go. There we go. This is a losing trade. So you can see it runs up. It gets too close to your upper boundary with, with still too much time remaining. And Algo says, close out the position. So when it turns red you will automatically manage that trade. Uh, Theta Trade will close out that position for you. And that was on June 15th, and that's the end of month contract. So here's the end of month uh, June Dragonfly. And let's look at the difference between the Condor and the Dragonfly. This is the same expiration, but instead of you know collecting, um, choosing the, the Condor, you choose the Dragonfly. And look at that, you get a profit taking signal. So instead of the condor actually taking a loss, had you chosen to trade the dragonfly instead, you, you have a chance to have that order placed for you when it turns blue and the profit taking signal comes in there. And so that's a big advantage to the dragonfly. Not only will it sometimes close you out of a position earlier, uh, but it will allow you to basically take a profit when a condor may not. And of course, you know, every trade is always vulnerable to losses or else there'd be no opportunity. So, you know, dragon, a dragonfly can, of course, have a loss too. But I just want to point out the distinction and the difference between the condor and the dragonfly. Here's something called a bull hedge, uh, which we kind of looked at briefly. And this is just an example. I think I just chose one here to show you, you know, you could sell an out of the money put spread, uh, use that money that you collect and buy an out-of-the-money call spread. And of course, um, as the market moves higher, you know that trade 
would obviously do well for you. Um, and if it started to drop on you, then you'd have to cover the risk um, on this put spread here. And that could be automatically done as well by Theta Trader. And then I want to point out that we have daily proprietary research, something called TradeScope and the daily trading summary. Here's TradeScope as an example. We do this each day with a basically a technical outlook and then sort of looking at the economic calendar as well. Here's the uh, CME FedWatch tool, what the markets are project, pro projecting regarding uh, interest rates. Here's our daily commentary. We do this each day as well. So you have what's happening in Asia, what's happening in Europe, what's happening in the US, and then an outlook as to what to look for in the coming days, months, uh, weeks, and so forth, and then economic calendar as well. And then here's a help file, which is really great. Under the glossary, you can see all of the color coding for the RTI right there. I won't go over all the details, but you can see all the uh, definitions for all the strategies and spreads. Everything is included there. And there's also, under the help file, you have uh, all these videos here. These are all video tutorials uh, if you need additional help on ThetaTrader. But it is very user-friendly and intuitive, so you may not really need a whole lot of additional uh, attention on that. And then here's your, you know, on your dashboard, your open short positions can all be seen at a glance in, in open bot positions. And keep in mind, you can do more than just the neutral strategies. You know, if you're, if you're bearish, you might even simply uh, just buy some outright puts. Um, but those are lo lower probability outcomes. And if you wanted to look at all of your closed positions on one particular page, you can do that as well. So you can see here, and again, don't make too much of these results. This is just a demo account that uh, we use for these events. But this is sort of, uh, well, actually, you see there's 19 trades. Um, there are 12 short positions. Uh, 10 were winners and two were losers. And seven bot positions, two winners and five losers. And that actually might be pretty accurate because um, in terms of what you might expect if a person were selling premium versus buying premium, um, if you're selling these types of strategies where the deltas, you know, give that higher probability of expiring out of the money, uh, then you might expect a lot more winners than losers. A lot of those base hits is what we're talking about. But you can look at any one position. Um, you know, we'll just click on this condor. You can see it's highlighted in gray down here, and then we'll scroll down. And you can kind of look at it backwards in time. So here's where the trade started. The market just kind of traded away, went sideways, and then finally got a blue RTI. And that was the end of that trade. It said RTI said, get out, take your profit, and move on. So that's how that works. There's also something called the uh, trade builder. If you want to build your own trades, you can. Just start from scratch. But really, that kind of defeats the purpose of Theta Trader, at least in our opinion. And most people, the vast, vast majority of people are using uh, the algos within Theta Trader to help, you know, basically build those trades for them. Uh, and of course, you can modify a trade, but again, um, you know, that really kind of defeats the whole purpose of using the algos to help you out. So let me show you the best feature of all. And I do see comments and questions, and I will get to those in just a second, but let me show you the best feature of all, at least in my humble opinion. I'm gonna switch screens here. And I'll also point out too, um, Everything is net of all commissions and fees and trading costs. So all the percentages and dollar figures you saw in Theta Trader, everything is net. And then someone asked about the percentage target. Every trade is different, of course, um, depending on the time to expiration and how close to the money it is or isn't. But a lot of the trades on the condors, for example, the dragonflies, uh, the algo is probably not going to place a trade that has anything less than maybe like a um, 30%, 25 30%. Uh, targeted uh, return on cash. So if that helps answer that question. Okay. Trade alerts. So Theta Trader also includes trade alerts. 
So these are what we call uh, one-touch responsive alerts. Uh, all you simply have to do is touch, accept, or reject on your device uh, or respond via email. And we're on the dashboard as well. So these are live or integrated with your trading account. So you, you just touch accept in this example or touch reject. And here's what it looks like. You just receive a text message, you touch it. And here's an, this is a few years ago, but that's okay at all. Well, actually we've made some improvements, so I should get a new little video, <laughs> but you have a little brief description of the trade. This is a condor. Uh, you can see the current market activity. It's sitting right there. You're selling this out of the money call spread and out of the money put spread. Okay. And then you'll notice you're collecting $1,115 cash required. You're selling a quantity of 10. And this is important because the quantity is pre-selected for you because it's based on what's already in your account and the account balance. So the uh, the position or the, the trade alert is tailored for you and your account. Everyone's going to receive an alert that is specific for them uh, based on what is already in the account. So you're not going to receive the same trade over and over or a quantity that's, you know, quantity that's too big, for example. And you'll see here, days till expiration, targeted annualized return, get an updated quote. And if you like what you see, you just touch accept. If you don't, you just touch reject. So that's, that's just that simple, folks, on the trade alerts. So... Here's how you can get involved with the Theta Trader membership. You get the software, which includes everything we just saw, the Theta Trades, the RTI, uh, and the Trade Simulator. And that value is over $3,500. And then you have the One Touch Trade Alerts. Those are integrated with your account. Uh, we just saw that there, valued at over $4,400 for those integrated one-touch trade alerts. And then the RTI can automatically manage those uh, positions for you once those are filled. So you have Theta Trader, which includes the alerts, an over $8,000 value. And then you have us. So we are available as your private mentor or your coach, so to speak. You'll have uh, screen sharing sessions with us. Um, we're licensed, we're experienced. We've been doing this a long time. You kind of have a co-pilot. We talked about flying in that biplane. So I certainly needed a pilot. I couldn't have done that by my by myself. But anyway, um, you'll have a, a relationship with a licensed trader. You'll be able to discuss your trades, review your history, so on and so forth. Uh, value over $7,500. In fact, I would say that value is probably more like twenty dollars or $30,000. People spend a lot of money on coaching. And what we're saying is with Theta Trader, that's included so the software, the alerts, the coaching, valued over $15,500. And there's uh, extra bonus, of course, to get a little uh, corny like an infomercial. Uh, don't forget the proprietary research, valued at over $2,900 with our trade scope and our daily newsletter. So that's available to all of our Theta Trader members. And then we have those online video tutorials as well that we looked at uh, briefly in the help file. So those can be a good resource for you. So just to wrap up the Theta Trader membership, uh, the software, the alerts, the coaching, and the research valued over $18,500. And we did live seminars with this for many years, and it was $4,000 to become a member. And of course, we'll do a lot better than that. Won't even, uh, we'll do even better than 50% off. The MAD discounted price is $597, and there is our link, cf.altavest.com forward slash MAD. That's just what the order form looks like, real simple. That's my direct phone number. That's my direct email, of course. So maybe take a screenshot of this page or a photo or whatever. You can have that on file. And there's also the 30-day money-back guarantee. Of course, if you decide it's not for you after you know, 29 days and 23 hours or whatever, that's fine. We're not uh, twisting your arm. So essentially, you'll complete that order form. You'll get your Theta Trader credentials. You'll get an email with a link to open the account. Then once your account is approved, 
Uh, you'll fund your account and then begin trading and accepting okay. trade alerts. All right. I'm, not a problem. I'm logging in. I'm okay. Oh. All right. Bye. I hear someone talking there. Anyway, um, then once you become a member, once you sign up with that link, uh, you'll receive your uh, Theta Trader login, and then you can start receiving trade alerts in demo, uh, demo mode and using the platform right away. Okay, some FAQs, tax efficiency. Uh, futures and options are tax efficient, if you weren't aware of that. Can make a big difference, can lower your tax rate by over 10%. It's because the IRS treats uh, your gains differently. 60% are treated uh, in a favorable manner as a long-term capital gain. So here's an example. If you're trading individual stocks, that in this example, you have a 12.6% return. That same example trading futures, 14.64% return, a tax savings of over $2,000. So compared to trading individual stock options, for example, um, you have the tax advantage of trading futures options like we do. And there's no more itemizing each trade. You'll receive a 1099 with your P&L, and that's all you need to do. So always consult your tax attorney or your advisor. Uh, IRAs, absolutely. There may be some requirements, but contact us for details. We do those, uh, you know, it seems like uh, several a week. And then we talked about the E-minis. Well, Again, they're liquid, they're efficient, they're cost-effective. Uh, CME Group has a piece here about five reasons why to trade options on the E-mini S&P 500. I won't go to all of them, but they offer deep liquidity across a wide array of maturities. You know, record volume, 1.6 million a day just in Q3 last year. And I, I can't get the latest figures, but I think it's over 2 million now a day. And here, this is interesting, sort of an oxymoron, but the mini is actually huge. So the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract, okay, it is, <laughs> if you believe it or not, it is about 10 times the value compared to the S&P 500 ETFs. So the value, the daily value trading on the E-mini futures contract for the S&P 500 is about 10 times greater than the value of all ETFs, uh, S&P 500 related ETFs. So that means superior execution, a cost savings of four to fifteen dollars per contract on those uh, options, with the ES compared to the SPX. That's according to the CME Group. So you have a tight bid offer spread. So you talk about large market shares, densely packed strikes, 100 annual expirations, ensure granularity and coverage. So what that means is, if you're selling these calls and these puts, according to Theta Trader, and the algo is looking for more trades, and it looking for more calls and more puts and another set of calls and another set of puts as time goes by the algo is looking for trades to place and they they will be available those strikes are available because there's so much volume and liquidity and depth and another big advantage with theta trader on the dragonflies it's all done as one trade in one order so you don't leg in as two separate spreads uh, in stocks i've tried to do a dragonfly on one order, on one ticket, you can't do it. You have to leg in as two separate spreads and try to navigate exiting as two separate spreads. So it's a nightmare. You don't want to try to do that. And that's why Theta Trader allows you know the immediate access to these sophisticated option strategies compared to, say, the retail stock options crowd. Here's this woman again here. She says, uh, retail stock options traders only have access to the most basic call and put options. They don't have access to option spreads or more sophisticated strategies uh, kind of like the rookie strategies where you only buy options keep in mind theta is always against you if you're only buying options and here she is uh, talking about that as well the popular trading strategy is risky which is basically just buying options the appeal for the retail crowd is to buy options um, because they're a lot cheaper but your potential for profit is not that high what she's talking about there is um, the probabilities are not favorable. So in 2021, 11% of Robinhood users made options trades, but fewer than 1% of that amount made multi-leg option trades. So we want to trade like the professionals. That's why we trade these spreads. Uh, more advantages, again, um, with what we're doing. I think the idea that simplicity can track just one or two or three markets, not thousands, efficient margin use, clear cost structure. There's nothing hidden. 
Um, everything is placed with the Globex electronic exchange. All orders are treated equally. There's no payment for order flow. There's no free trading, which is just a gimmick. You know, here's a, if, if it's commission free, it's not really free folks. Your, your orders are going to be executed at prices inferior to other broker prices. So none of that with AltaVest, everything is transparent. Our rates are two and a quarter. I'm um, sorry, our rates are five and a quarter round turn all in. And why I mention that is because you might see some other companies say, oh, well, our rates are a lot cheaper. Well, they're not because that's per side. And when you add in clearing and exchange fees, it actually ends up being higher. So again, everyone is trading. Uh, everything is net of trading cost. Everyone's performance is different, of course, because they're all trading the platform differently. And what size of an account? We recommend a minimum of 20000 If you do 50 to 99999 you get a 50% rebate. Um, if you have 100000 or greater, uh, you'll get 100% rebate on that membership fee. So do take advantage of that. A lot of people do take advantage of that. And then just to kind of summarize, you know, why would you even consider something like ThetaTrader or alternatives in your portfolio? Well, it may improve diversification and lower overall portfolio risk. And, you know, volatility, let's look at that as well. An index might move 2 or 3% in a day, which is a pretty big move. Individual stocks routinely move 10 or 20% in a day. Even the largest market cap, you know, stocks will make these big, big mega moves. So we try to avoid that large uh, shock of volatility by training in the indexes. Strategies for all directions with the index where you can use an index to hedge your portfolio or maybe even just speculate on your portfolio or add a, a kicker, so to speak, with directional strategies or even kind of sell some premium, uh, generate a little bit of extra uh, uh, income. And simplicity, again, just tracking a, a few indexes, one or two indexes, not over six or what is it, 7,000 uh, securities now. So remember that you got bull bear non-directional strategies available. We're not we're not picking uh, stocks. We don't try to necessarily you know pick the bottoms and pick the tops. We don't try to uh, basically trade the chop. We have kind of a wide margin of error oftentimes on these positions. You can see in this case you have 750 points between the short calls and the puts in this example, and we think Theta Trader is a big time saver as well. Uh, here's an example of someone trading 10 to 12 hours a day, consuming 10 to 12 hours of their day. So not many of us have that much time. <laughs> um, and then uh, diversify. If you're trading with something like Theta Trader and um, you have this, this non-correlated absolute return possibility there available to you. So regardless of what happens on the stock market, you have positions and strategies that can uh, basically move in any direction you don't have to be always long so we like the automation the unique option strategies to speculate or hedge your stock portfolio we think it's fair to have alternatives as a part of your investment approach or plan so again here's the theta trader membership there's the link and i've got a few more minutes here and here's that um, order form page again just so you know what it looks like and just to kind of summarize we have the algo-driven option spreads. Those are the theta trades. You have strategies for bullish, bearish, or non-directional conditions. You've got that trade simulator. You can go backwards in time and pick any of the strategies, sort of like a time machine. And there's what it looks like there. We kind of looked at a few simulations. You can run those um, for you know different scenarios. Uh, you can see how trades would have performed during different uh, uh, windows of time. In those one-touch trade alerts that come to your smart device, uh, they'll come to your uh, dashboard as well. This is what it looks like on your dashboard. And then you would just click it and the order's uh, submitted. And it comes, of course, to your phone. You just touch your phone, accept or reject. And then there is the, the final page. I, I did want to show one more thing, and I think I have just another minute then I'll jump off, or in fact, maybe not. I don't want to jump into the other person's time. But what I was going to say is, well, here, let me do this here. It's quick. This will be quick, folks. This is, you're looking at Theta Trader um, again. 
but if you want to see how to automate everything, you go to settings. And this is how you activate the risk manager and the profit directive. So when the RTI turns blue or red, then everything is basically placed for you. Those orders are placed for you. That's how simple it is right there. So just wanted to show, I think I kind of forgot that. So just going back to my presentation screen, I think I've got just maybe one more minute here and a few other questions. If I can, didn't already answer that. Oh, that's a lifetime membership. So it's not a year, it's lifetime. Good question. Yes, Australian clients. We have clients all over the world. Um, if you're in the EU or Canada, it could be difficult, but do let us know where you are. Uh, that's a one-time membership fee, lifetime membership. And yeah, we mentioned uh, recommendation for the account size. And we are the brokerage firm, AltaVest. We've been doing this since 1997. Okay, and... We're doing the minis, not the micros. Good question. All right. I think that's it for my time. And uh, yeah, commissions are all included and they're five and a quarter per option and that's round turn. So good question, folks. Uh, give me a ring, give me a call, get yourself signed up if you, if you think you're gonna jump in and we'll get you onboarded as quickly as we can here. And we'll just go from there and thanks for joining me and thanks for having uh, me again here uh john and kate and all right, that's right. going to be a wrap Thank you very much uh, outstanding as always love to have you back see there's a lot of interest uh looking at the chat box and again to uh, take advantage of eric's offer today click on the chat box on the right uh kate go ahead and put it in again so we can see it at the bottom of the chat box and it's uh, cfaltavest.com